How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video and for today we will be looking at the past bets for our previous betting round and see how we did and on top of that we we'll also go through some new bets. Okay so the last video uh <laughs> I do have to apologize because I did place two other bets after the video and those bets were namely uh, the bet on race and the bet on uh, Boop's lifestyle. Okay, so let's go through our bets from the past round. So here MCO lost to 495k really uh, MCO such a disappointment. I honestly think their victory against 341A and K530 were a huge fluke now and yeah, MCO, I don't know what in the world they were doing. E versus Red Rose Empire, nothing surprising. Red Rose Empire, again, showing that strategy is so, so important. 411S versus Pito, okay. Uh, looks like 411S still has the better strategy than Pito. I don't know what happened here, but it was a pretty dominating match. So yeah, unfortunately, Pito wasn't able to pull out the win against 411S, and 411S is once again back in the game. Dream League versus 49, uh, 49F. This is as, as expected. Dream League pulled out the win. 49F is going through civil war right now, so I don't know if any of their league players got zero or whatnot, but. Yeah, that's gonna be quite rough on them. Raising Empire versus Taizatan. Obviously, Raising Empire will win. This bet I placed after the video, so I'm sorry if you guys didn't uh, manage to catch this. Navi versus BBTH. Wow, BBTH, huge improvement right there. It goes to show that uh, the battle against Red Rose Empire two weeks ago was really a huge wake up call for them, and they did manage to pull out quite a large victory over Navi so really BBTH uh, good job on that I'm not sure what the other teams are doing Eve and MCO eh. but uh, really good job to BBTH Boops Lifestyle versus 92 SK Boops Lifestyle managed to win and yeah all in all we did make profit but only very very little so uh, hopefully we'll do better this time around one very huge uh, upset last round was OV versus SFS Guys, SFS pull out the win with slightly lower power and they were not such a known well known team as compared to OV. Uh they I what I saw was that they focused like 80 to 90 percent of their marches in the middle during arc and uh they basically fought OV head on and OV um they weren't able to adapt like when they were losing the mid, they were not hammering SFS's uh, buildings. I don't know why that was the case. So in the end, SFS managed to pull out the win. And uh, the main reason is because SFS managed to secure every single arc at the same time while still holding their buildings against OV. And that is why you see a whopping 12,000 point difference. So SFS maybe might be the new favorite underdog. They are definitely in a very good spot to uh, do very well this uh this season of out of osiris okay let's see uh let's look at the best this time around 411s versus 0096 uh 411s i think will win this easily 0096 hasn't won any matches so far sfs versus mco uh after watching last round yep mco is trash essentially and sfs beating out the season one's champions ov I would say SFS uh, definitely is going to win this as well. One AVG versus 92SK. 92SK uh, only managed to beat Temple of Artemis, which isn't that strong of a team. Boop's Lifestyle did beat them. One AVG did uh, beat Boop's Lifestyle as well, but as you can see, one AVG is a uh, stronger team in terms of power, and I think in terms of strategy, one AVG is better than 92SK. So I think one AVG will take this as well. C9N versus Dream League. This one will be very interesting to see. Both are very strong teams. C9N does have 600 million more power and they are an older kingdom which means they have access to more commanders compared to Dream League. But Dream League, uh, again, made out of very very strong players and I think uh, this will be the match to look out for during this round, uh, this round of Osiris League because uh, Dream League and C9N, both very strong teams. Still not very sure who will come out on top. I you can see here from Dream League's matches, uh, most of them, Dream League did quite well. C9N on the other hand, they did pretty well as well, but they struggled a little, like it wasn't so, so dominating over 49F, okay? And you can see a Dream League, uh, 49F did fare a little better against Dream League, but that being said, that was uh, afterwards, after their match with C9N, so maybe 49F. 
49F uh, managed to tweak and improve their arc strategy a little bit. But uh, I think Dream League will be the one to win this, honestly speaking. C9N, they are a very strong KVK kingdom. As for out of Osiris, they did make it pretty far as well in Season 1. Okay, they've definitely improved since then. But will they be able to beat a strong arc team like Dream League? Dream League is not a KVK kingdom. Dream League is, from the ground up, it is a kingdom uh, focused on Osiris League. So I think Dream League, while not having the best strategy, like they, they don't have an overwhelming victory every single game, but they are strong enough to uh, actually do very well against a strong team like C9N. And, and I would know because uh, Dream League actually did beat my team during... Uh, Right before we get in, we got into top 32 and I have to say, uh, all their players very very on point. All of them were actually watching to see where every single one of their matches were. So that is definitely not an easy thing to do and I think Dream League uh, will have a good chance of winning this. So I'm going to put, um, let's put 500 Oryx on Dream League, okay, because the, the it's such a good, uh, we have such good odds here. Okay, OYO versus Taizatan. I think OYO will win this for sure. Okay, OYO hasn't won any uh won any matches yet except this one. But Taizatan, despite their good strategy, they've been uh crushed time and again by stronger teams. OYO. Uh, let's see here. They did fare pretty well against Raising Empire, like as compared to Taizatan last round. So I think OUO will actually win this because of the power alone. For strategy, I think Taizatan isn't a weak kingdom by any chance, but because they are such a late kingdom, they don't have access to many commanders that OUO actually has. So that might actually put that on the back foot. Couple that with the power. Um, maybe they can try again next season when they uh, have more commanders and uh, increase their total power, then they will have a good chance, okay? Red Rose Empire versus uh, Navi. I have no idea why people are betting on Navi. I think Red Rose Empire will win this. Okay, uh, despite the power, look at the power, guys. Wait. Okay, the power 3.5 million billion versus 2.7 billion. This is like 800 million power difference. But Red Rose Empire showing time and again that power is not everything and that Red Rose Empire is a very, very strong arc team. Okay, so I'm going to bet on that. E versus BBTH. I think BBTH will win this easily unless there's some match fixing going on uh, internally. They are from the same kingdom after all. But I think BBTH will definitely uh, win this any day. Okay, UCS versus uh, Pito. Okay, I think UCS will win this easily. And UCS, they really improved a lot, I have to say. Beating up 411S and uh, I don't know what other strong teams they face. Okay, none so far. But I think UCS will win uh, Pito quite easily because Pito can't even win 411S. And uh, that's just a matter of fact. On top of that, they are also the earliest kingdoms inside of the game. So they have access to every single commander. And Pito, on the other hand, does not access to have access to every single one of them. 600 million power difference and a better strategy. I think UCS will win this. OV versus 495K. After the last match, I don't know how I feel about OV. Okay, could they be? Could they have thrown the match on purpose? Because it, they were really off form. To be very honest, if you guys were watching the match, like I had no idea what they were doing against SFS. The moment they lost the middle, like they should have committed more matches to hammer SFS's buildings, like I said earlier, but they didn't. So, is this the end of the line for OV? And will four nine five K be able to win? OV, that is the question. We will revisit this bet later on. 49F versus the Titans. I think 49F, despite the whole civil war that is going on right now, I just checked in this morning. There wasn't any burning anymore. Okay, but I think 49F uh, being a stronger kingdom than the Titans, I think 49F will be able to win them easily. Okay, uh, the squad versus Titans. Titans is a uh, Dream League second team, but uh, they, they've done decently well, like their match against SX54, they put out 1,000 1, points ahead only, but that being said, 1341, the squad, this is the main team for Kingdom 1341, and I think they will be able to beat Titans easily and just uh, crush them with overwhelming power. Alright, Hong Kong Legends versus SX54. Do I even need to say more? Hong Kong Legends will take this easily. JWM versus Raising Empire. This one will be another interesting match to watch. Okay, JWM. 
uh, obviously has the power advantage but do they have the strategy advantage racing empire has proven to be a very strong team this time around they beat crown beast uh like crown beast is one of uh let me think one yeah it's one avg second team so yeah jwm finalists for the past two seasons unfortunately did not get champions this time round i don't even think they'll make it to uh finals this time round because they will be facing hong kong legends in the semi-finals if you guys are actually looking at the groupings so i uh this one will revisit this later as well 411k versus sno sno once again showing that provisioning provisioning guys look at all their scores is so freaking close this one is like 9 points, this one is like 2,000 points, and it's all from where, guys? Provisions, provisions, provisions. But for 11 k they will not let that happen. That is for sure. I can almost bet 100% for 11 k will win on this. So I'm not going to bet on that. MTO versus 2-4. the four. I think MTO will win, uh, but the odds for this one is pretty decent. Okay, MTO is the way stronger team, and 2-4 the four has not... Uh, has only won one match here so far, okay MTO on the other hand, yeah, they've also only won one match But MTO went up against a stronger team like 411k So, uh, I'll give that to them I think I'll bet a little bit on MTO this time around Maybe I'll bet 500, okay On MTO because uh, the bets are still decent, okay Boobs Lifestyle versus Temple of Artemis Don't need to see this, uh, Boobs Lifestyle will win this Okay, so even though I say 100% this will win or that will win, but you know, you can never be too sure because upsets can happen like you saw with the OV match, like you saw with the MTO versus SNO match. So those guys who bet on SFS and uh, SNO last round, then uh, really congrats to you guys because you guys definitely did win big. Okay, now what will be popular, what will be risky bets? Now I'm going into the... Now this is where I start to talk about bets that are slightly riskier So you may actually lose this bet So follow this here at your own uh, risk That's what I'll say OV versus 495 495k I'm a little bit inclined to go towards team 1495 Because uh, OV really I I don't know man Will uh, team 1495 not a weak team Definitely not a weak team You can see this here 495k did better against SFS compared to OV so yeah I actually think uh, I'm going to bet here it's, it's a risky bet so I'm only gonna put 300 in here okay let's see here what other teams the Titans versus 49 F49 F because of the Civil War I'm inclined to bet on the Titans but the Titans they've shown that they were not able to come anywhere close to the top few leagues so i think i will pass this up i think 49 uh yeah 49f will still win there raising empire versus jwm this one is another thing that i am considering to bet on because raising empire very good arc strategy so far is it enough to beat jwm though that's the question uh again very risky jwm has a lot of experience but they've they've never shown to be the like the tip top i don't know man raising empire can they overcome 800 million point difference the hot favorite jwm i'm actually not going to risk this bet so yeah these are the bets that i will do for this time round dream league okay against c9n definitely an exciting match to watch okay Red rose empire versus navi another exciting match 495k versus ov another exciting match and mto versus ttf i think mto will still win this so these are the bets that i will make this time round if you guys really really want to and you know try your luck maybe you can try putting a little bit of coins on the titans i wouldn't put a lot though Keep this in mind. I'll put a little bit like a hundred if you get lucky. Maybe you'll win against 495, 49F after their civil war. And um Raising Empire, you can put a little bit and you'll definitely win very big if like the odds is one is to forty two. It's it's crazy guys. It's one one is to Oh my gosh. Like I can put a hundred in here and I can win back four thousand two hundred. Something crazy like that. So uh Raising Empire should I? You know what? Don't don't disappoint me. I'm gonna put 100 Oryx in Raising Empire. 100 Oryx. 
yeah so these are my bets i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of such future content and of course leave down your comments below how do you do for the previous rounds bets do you follow my bets or did you not did you win big or did you lose big and yeah till the next time i'm your host carbon gaming peace out